Hi bitches, happy new year. This is my first like sit down video in a long time. I've been doing a lot more like vlogging and stuff. Um, ignore my lovely tan lines, you can see my... <laughs> Hi, I'm actually gonna do better about posting this year. I feel like I say that every single fucking year, but this is a year like I've genuinely been enjoying editing and um, also I've just kind of gotten a better control of my mental health. For some context, if you don't know me, hi, I'm Caitlin. <laughs> I, um, in 2021, my best friend died. And ever since then, I've just kind of been on like a downward spiral. But like this year, I like, 2022 was like the year where like, I did a lot of like personal growing. I did a lot of working through my trauma. And honestly, 2023 is another year that I'm gonna be continuing on that and instead of focusing so much on negativity which is what my brain tends to do i'm trying to be more positive uh but sorry my room's like a fucking mess too there's so much i want to do this year with like showing you more of my life and everything so yeah <laughs> that's something that's a really big focus too but anyway this is a video i love to film every year i know i'm filming it so much later this year i know we're already like a month and a half into this year but i don't even give a fuck okay i'm gonna still do it because i just want to there's 23 things i want to do in 2023 um number one buy a new car i have a nissan ultima my car served me well for living in a more southern place but having to drive on roads that aren't plowed my car's not great <laughs> so i really need to get a car that I feel safe driving in. It has four wheel drive. <laughs> Number two, I wanna get my associate's degree. I really, 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 like just want to finish my degree. I have so little left of it and I just wanna get it. Um, that doesn't mean I have to like, like for me, I'm, I'm a Taurus. I get very comfortable with what I'm doing. I'm very comfortable like working in fast food. If you don't know, I do work full time in fast food. I love what I'm doing. I love the people I'm with, like my coworkers, I love them to death. I just like want to get my degree because I put three fucking years into getting my um, undergraduate and I have so little left of it that I just want to complete it so I can say that I did it, but that doesn't mean that I have to do anything with it. So if I want to take it at a slower pace and just get my associates first, I'm okay with that and I can pay for it myself as I go from class because I do, like I'm so blessed with how much money I make working where I work. So that was very long winded. Number three, I want to get a new tattoo. I fucking love getting tattoos. There's something so healing about just putting it on my body that just like makes me feel like a bad bitch. It just makes me feel so good about myself and just I, this year is just about me wanting to feel my fucking greatest. Number four, I want to go to Vegas. Bitch, Vegas is my fucking jam. I love drinking. I love gambling. I just have such a good connection with it because like my grandmas were always people who went on like bus rides and they would go to like casinos and shit together. And like, that was the thing I looked forward to the most. Like when I would turn 21 was that I would get to go with them. Unfortunately, my Nana passed away when I was like 11 and my grandma D um, isn't in the best place. I mean, she's almost fucking 99 years old. She's 99 in March, like holy shit balls, dude. But um, you know, like I never got to go with them, but something about Vegas just makes me feel very connected to them. Um, number five. I want to do a triathlon. Number six, go on a girls trip. I love my girls. I love girls in general. <laughs> Number seven, I want to get my nose pierced. I have gotten my nose pierced at this point four fucking times. I just want to get it pierced because again, it just makes me feel like a bad bitch. I can't explain it. Number eight, I want to get my own place to live. Um, it's hard to film when my parents watch the TV at 80 volume. I love them to death. I don't want to live with y'all anymore. I want to just have my own life, have my own things. Number nine, I want to adopt a new animal. I want another dog so badly, but um, I'm not going to do that unless I know that I'm capable of giving them the proper care with working full time. But anyway, I 
do just like want something along the lines of like an animal. Number 11, I want to get into a healthier routine. I just kind of like want to treat myself better. I want to treat my body better. I want to treat my inner child better. I want to help her heal and feel safe. And I just want to feel good about myself. And I feel like I've spent a lot of my life just like feeling like shit. And I just don't want to fucking do it anymore. You know, like I don't want to focus on the past. I don't want to focus on things that I can't control. But what I can control is how I treat my body and like getting myself into a better routine and of taking care of myself and taking care of my body. Number 12 is I want to see the Grand Canyon. Frankly, I just heard it's the most beautiful fucking shit in the world and I want to see it. 14, read a book a month. I just love to read and I don't take the time to do it because, you know, phones, TikTok, whatever. I want to stop focusing so much on that and I want to start reading more. 15, see another Broadway show. Your girl loves Broadway. Your girl just needs to see another show to feel a little bit of happiness, you know? 16, go to therapy again. Um, I just need to get my brain in check. Therapy is really important and I've been procrastinating doing it and I just think that this is a year I just want to do it and I want to take care of myself better. 15, organize my fucking life. Like, I just want everything to be organized. Like, I like chaos. If you can't tell from my room, like, there's so much shit on the walls. But I don't, I like it to be chaotically organized and lately it just felt chaotic rather than organized and I want to get myself into a better place where I feel happier because I feel like if my room's a mess, my brain's a mess, everything's a mess. I want to set myself up for success. 18 is I want to drive to Hell, Michigan and back. This is always on my list. Someone just go to fucking Hell, Michigan with me because I want to say that I've been to Hell and back and I don't want to put up with your shit anymore. 19, this is a long fucking shot. I want to visit New York again. Obviously, I love to travel. I want to do more traveling if you can't tell from this list this year. But um, I would love to go to New York again and go see a show. 20, go through all my old camcorder footage. I just really want to find videos of my family and stuff and my grandmas and I just like feel like I'm in a better state mentally and I have an iMac now that can handle going through all that footage. Cute little montage of all the cute moments of baby Caitlin and her baby family. 21. I want to learn more about myself. I want to just like learn who I am, what I love. I don't want anyone else's perceptions to be in this because I feel like I'm getting to an age now where I'm realizing oh I thought I liked this but I just liked it because my high school friends liked it and I wanted to fit in and I want to truly understand who I am and I want to learn to love myself for who I am truly because I feel like a lot of what I put on are masks and I want to just like take the mask off you know and just find out who I truly am and love myself for who I am. 22 go to Disney World bitch I love Disney. I know that it's a corporate machine and it's fucked up, but I want to, you know, go there. And then 23, I just want to have the best year ever. Like, possible. It hasn't been horrible. I've been trying to keep a positive attitude and I don't want to look back at this year and just be like, fuck 2023. Like, if there's any way that I can make it so that I don't have to look back on this year and be like, fuck this year. I will be so proud of myself. So yeah, that's my list. That's what I want to do. And let's just get into it. But um, I love you guys a lot. I hope you enjoyed sitting here with me. Listen to me rant for like 15 fucking minutes filming. Hopefully I can edit this shit down. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.